Teddy, Eddie's Teddy name is Freddy. Oh, Freddy, said Eddie with a Speak loud. great big sigh. I feel sad, but I don't know why. Freddy said nothing. Eddie sighed again. I wish you could talk, he said, and then... Whoa, look at that up there on the stone. A great teddy all on his own. We've seen him before. He belongs to the bear who lives around these woods somewhere. Suddenly something made Eddie turn around. A sniffle and a scuffle in the bear sort of sound. A great big voice whined, where's my teddy? He's coming, he's coming, let's hide, cried Eddie. The great big bear came snuffling by, then stopped with a sniff and started to cry. Oh, Teddy, he whimpered, what can I do? I've got no friends apart from you. You, can, you can't you can talk. You will, you don't crop, care. I am such a sad and lonely bear. Then just as the, he brushed a tear from his eyes, Please don't cry. I'm all on my own, just like you, with no one to talk to and nothing to do. I'm a little bit lonely, too. See, you see, if you want, you can talk to me. The bear couldn't believe his ears. He grumped and sniffed and whispered his, he wiped his tears. You can talk after all, he cried. Of course I can talk, the voice replied. The bear came closer and scratched his head. Why didn't you talk before, he said. Because I'm scared, and the, said the voice, and small and shy, and you're a great big bear, that's why. There, there, said the bear. You are in a muddle. What you need is a great big cuddle. No, I don't, shrieked the voice. Yes, yes, you do. Yes, you do, said the bear. You just need some loving care. Don't be scared. You are my teddy. No, I'm not, cried the voice. started to grin. He felt a chuckle rise from within. He tried to stop it. He put it wouldn't stay down. What's so funny? asked the bear with a frown. It's you, giggled Eddie. It's you, said there. You're such a great big silly bear. No, I'm not, said the bear. Yes, you are, yelped, yelped, yelped. 
Eddie, you thought you had a talking teddy. Then the bear began to snicker. The, the smile on his face grew bigger and <laughs> the gray <laughs> belly wiggled and jiggled. I am a silly bear. Grit giggled. I don't think Teddy, I thought it was true, but all that's really true. <laughs> the bear held out his great sized Teddy, crouched down be behind it, and said, Hello, Eddie. I am a talking Teddy. Listen to me. Uh, aren't I clever? I'm only three, said Eddie. Wanted to go have a go. He held out his teddy and squeaked. Hello, my name's Freddy. How do you do? I can talk and I'm only two. They laughed and they laughed. Until their tummies were sore. Then they looked at each other and laughed some more. The bear started dancing and singing a song, and he made up the words as he wobbled along. I'm silly. I'm snap song, and I don't care. I'm such a great big silly bear. Oh, sing Eddie. I'm as silly as you, and your Teddy and Freddy are silly too. All afternoon they played in the sun, seeing just how was who, who was the silliest one. When the sun began to set, it um, We're friends, said Eddie. The bear said, who? You and you now, said Eddie. Me and you. The bear left, left Eddie up for a hug. Hard, very safe. Talk to the bear, he said. Look after Freddie. We'll come back soon. Whispered yeah. Eddie. Then off, then off they went, walked with a smile and a wave back to a house and back to the cave. Do you think that they're lonely? Not anymore. That's what having friend is for. Good job, boss.